Hey guys, it's me, Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so guys, today I'm at Disneyland. And no, I'm not at Tokyo Disneyland. I'm in LA. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so hot. So, since I'm at Disneyland, I want to do a little haul challenge. So today, I'm going to try to buy stuff that I can make art with. Making art with supplies that I got from Disneyland. I literally have no clue how it's gonna be. I don't think they have any art supplies here. I did kind of ask earlier and they have no markers. It really depends on what they have here, so is it gonna be a masterpiece or a total fail? I have no clue. You know, it's just gonna be a fun challenge. Don't have your hopes up too high. So yeah, let's get started. Let's go! I love here! Let's see what I can make. I have no clue. I want to see if they have like any pens. You know they gotta have at least like pens, you know, for like signature and stuff? Ooh, what's this? This looks interesting. Oh, it's a little bag! Like a pouch, it's so cute! You know guys, I'm also gonna buy a lot of stuff that I really want. So yeah, it's gonna be like half a haul, half a challenge. Ooh, a tote bag! Interesting? Okay. Oh, it's a cute hair accessory. That's kind of cute. Ooh, a pencil case. But there's like nothing inside. The autograph book. It's already signed. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I can get one of this for paper. I mean, I can't make art with this, but she's so cute. I love how there's a lot of Raya stuff. There's not many Raya stuff in Japan. It's new. Oh, I could make like Legos. I mean, Legos art, right? I kind of wanted like some puzzles, but they're all a thousand pieces and that's a little bit too big. I think these could work. I could definitely make something using these. Which one should I get? Little Boo, so adorable. There's so many series. Um, how about this? Um. The picture's so small. Where's Boo? I want Boo. Is Boo here? I don't think so, but I think this is a really nice pack. Oh, there's more in the back. Okay, I'm gonna buy these. So many accessories. So pretty. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Look at all the charms. Ooh. I could definitely use this. This is nice. Okay, I'm getting this. This is so cute. I kind of want this. This is even better. Oh my gosh, I need this. How much is this? 168. Oh my gosh. Oh, but look at these. These are so adorable. I mean, I could recreate something like this using these. There's more over here. But it is a little bit pricey. Oh. I have not found a single pen or pencil yet. Ooh, it's a light! That's useful. <laughs> so adorable. What else do they have? Oh, there's so many. And look at Snow White. She has small feet. Adorable. These are like really nice pins. Get these. Hercules? Interesting. Coco, Baymax, and some mystery packs. Maybe I could try one of this. I would have gotten this if this was my size. I used 12 Pro. There's not many 12 Pros here. I'm sad. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is cute. I could always make something using this. Oh, here's more patches. I could totally use this. Why is it spinning so fast? Okay. More over here. Here's the 12 Pro. Oh, I think I like this one better. This one's really cute too. I can't pick. Wait, I think I love this one the most. It's totally me. But if only they have my size. Okay, nope. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, perfect. I think I can make something using this. Okay guys, I finally found some pens. Oh look, it's a light-up pen. 
Oh, there's here. more over here. Oh, this one's cute. I mean, slinky. I mean, I love Mike, but I really think this slinky one is so cute. Look at the ears. Let's go with them. Oh, look, they have crayons. That's a nice surprise. And it's only $7. Maybe a pack of chocolates. Oh, there's more over here. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this pen. It's massive. And it's so heavy. I don't think I can make anything with this, but this is so pretty. I want to put these two together. It's so cute. But it's definitely a really hard pen to use. Oh, bug. I love bugs. I think we're good here. Let's go to the next door. Well, welcome in. My name is Sandra, and I'm the senior artist. I'm here to teach y'all how to draw a tigger. So let's go ahead and get started here with our pal tigger. He does have a really big chin, so we want to make sure we have that space and oval in there or circles. Right through the center with this super long line for my oval as well. Uh, from here, I like to add in his ears back in and lock in the perimeter of the center and chin. Um, So guys, I just took the drawing class and it turned out something like this. <laughs> it's Tigger, guys. What do you guys think? So when I was drawing, I had to hold the camera like, like this. So I was holding the camera with one hand and drawing with the other, kind of like this. So it was really challenging. But I mean, I think he turned out really cute. I kind of wanted to try the other classes, but there were only like a few more classes left. And hopefully next time when I come back, I can try Mirabelle or something. Okay, let's go to the next door. Let's see if they have more stuff over here. I also need to be careful not to buy too many things because I need to bring these all back to Japan. You know what, guys? Now that I think about it, this is a really hard challenge. My adventure book. I love it. So pretty! I could never use this. It's too pretty. I want to use it as like a decoration. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. It's even prettier. But again, I can never use this. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I could definitely make something using this. Maybe I could make something like with resin. I love molds. Oh my gosh, this is a super big mold! <laughs> I could use a cup. This is so magical! But I could use this. I just need to be really careful when bringing it back home. This is too adorable! So here's more kitchen stuff. I think I can make something using this, but there's like a small smudge here, so let me get one from the back. Okay, let's go with this one. And maybe this. Okay, so there's one more place that I want to go. By the way, um, someone asked me if I was Minori back there in the store. Yeah, I yeah. am. And it's my first time getting recognized in the States. I feel so special. Okay, so now let's go to downtown Disney. Okay, and lastly, I want to check World of Disney. So here's a lot of clothes, but I want to check the toy section. You had me at Disneyland. I kind of want this. You know, this is so cute. I would totally wear it if it's not like a hundred degrees outside. But I mean, it's so B. I gotta get this. 
A graduation hat! I love it! Look at this! I want that! <gasps> so this is actually an art set. This is like perfect, guys. I need to get this. Guys, I finally found an art set. Now I can kind of make art. Oh, I'm so happy that they have this. Okay, let's see if they have anything else. Here's some more art supplies. They have a lot of colors here. I should have got this one. I think I got this set. I mean, it's still a really nice set. But this one's even better. Okay, let's get this. I'm trying to keep it together. Aww. <gasps> this is nice. I mean, they have stickers. So you can color in. But it's not gonna be permanent. So I don't think this is what I'm looking for. But you know what? I think I'm satisfied. And I'm back. So I'm back in Japan and it's been a while. I kind of forgot what I got. So the point of this video is to make some kind of art using stuff that I got from Disneyland. So let's see what I got. Starting from this bag. Oh, it's quite heavy. So, okay, first, ta-da! I got this huge silicone mold. It's so cute. As you can see, it has Mickey's face on it. So normally it's used for like cake molds or you know, something for food, but that's not how I'm going to be using it today. I've also got more molds. It's in the shape of a Mickey balloon. Love these molds. There's so many ways to use them. I also got, oh, so that's why it was so heavy, a mug cup. I love the colors, I love the design. I love how it's like really heavy and sturdy. It's like perfect to put in my paintbrushes. And that's it for this bag. Let's see what we've got here. This is something that I got off camera. It's so cute! Mushu! Who am I? It's a long sleeve shirt. It's a little bit too hot to wear this right now in Japan. So maybe in like a month or so. After summer. By the way, I got three ears. This isn't really part of the video. I had to get these because like these aren't sold in Japan. And look at this one. It has a tiara. It's so cute. I'm definitely going to use this next time I go to Disneyland. Some aerial decorations, autograph book, a collector's pack pin, some crayons, and this art book. Look at this. It's basically a coloring book. And there's like watercolor paint on each page, which I think is a great activity book. So I could definitely make some kind of art with these. And we've got one more bag. So more crayons. Oh, more decorations. There's so many things I can make. More pin badges. Oh, this is fun. Turning red bead kit. A pen. <laughs> I don't remember getting this. Wow, I love my choice. It's a slinky pen. Ooh, more pin badges. A pack of chocolate. Oh wait, I didn't get this from Disneyland. <laughs> I got this at Miniso. So yeah, I think that's it. So these are all the stuff that I got from Disneyland. Oh wait, I forgot there's two more. I forgot I packed these separately. I also got a picture frame. And another one. And it looks something like this. And yeah, I think that's it. So first off, before anything, let's open some collector's pack. So first from the Toy Story collection, I'd honestly be happy with anything inside here. Ta-da! Okay, oh, there's a lot. So a little green men, ham, and slinky. They're so small and so cute. There's so many things you can make with these. Next, here we've got, ooh, we need the Pooh, Goofy, and Pluto. Oh, I thought they were like pins, but they're like little figurines, which I'm also happy with. Next we've got, Ooh, Bolt, Donald Duck, and a Disney bus. I love how they're all like different. And next, it's a small world, a truck, and a bus. And one more. And lastly, it's a pin, and it's a Tigger balloon. So here's all the little figurines. So now that we've unboxed everything, let's move on to the art. Okay, so first project, I wanna make something using this silicone mold. And I'm going to be using some resin. I wonder if this is enough. I also got extra resin just in case. So yeah, we'll see. Let me wipe it real quick. Okay, so first I'm going to mix the resin. I need to mix this in a ratio of one to one. And by the way guys, don't forget to wear gloves whenever you use resin. And I'm just gonna mix really gently. This resin takes around like 24 hours to 48 hours to fully harden, so there's no need to hurry. And I'm just gonna pour it in. 
I could make like a really clear one. I mean, I'm sure that's gonna be really cute as well. But to make it extra cute, I wanna add some beads. And let's add some more beads. Maybe just a tiny bit more. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more resin. And mix. And I'm going to pour on top. Heat gun to pop all the bubbles. Okay, I think I like it. And now I'm just gonna put it aside for it to completely harden. And it's gonna take one to two days. So while we're waiting for the resin to harden, let's play with this. Ta-da! And there's Jasmine, Belle, Tiana. Which one should I choose? Ariel! Okay, let's go with this aerial. I'm going to be using this brush and here's some water. And yes, I'm using the cup. I wonder how well this works. So maybe a little bit of this peachy color. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit hard because there's not that many colors I could use. I wonder why they don't have like red. I'm going to use a little bit of this. Color it all in. I'm gonna get some water, spread it out, and blend it in. I'm gonna draw this line on her stomach. Make her look fit. And next, her lower body is this green. Okay, the colors are really subtle. And a little bit of purple around her hairline for some shadow. A little on her eyes. Oh, did you guys hear that? It's thunder season in Japan. I'm gonna blend these two. Okay. Okay, Ariel has green eyes. A little bit of purple for her bra and this flower. Okay, so the problem is that we don't have red. But the only red I have is this colored pencil. So I'm gonna scribble onto this paper, get some brush, and pick up some color. Okay, I think it's working. I mean, the red is super sheer, but it's not like horrible. I kind of do like this watercolor effect. And we also can't forget Sebastian. Let me add a little bit more red. And I'm gonna use some blue and paint in the background. Uh, it's so blotchy. I mean, it's really hard because everything, the paper, the brush, is just like not ideal. Not the best supplies ever. It works. Like, it's becoming a little bit blotchy. I always say this, but materials make a big difference. Adding a little bit of green on top. Blend it in. And I'm gonna get a little bit of dark green to add on the bottom. And I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm going to cut along the lines. I'm going to put it inside the photo frame. And it looks something like this. Again, like not the best picture ever. It's still art. And I think it's gonna be cute to like put it in your room. Okay, next project with all these patches. I think it'll be cute to decorate anything. Like you can decorate your backpack, a tote bag, t-shirt. But today I want to decorate this pouch. This is something that I got from Miniso and I've been using it ever since as my makeup bag. And it's definitely gonna look so cute with all these patches. I could just go like this. It would be really simple. Or like, I could go crazy and put as many as I can. I mean, that's also cute. I mean, this is also really cute. And all you have to do is iron it down. And it looks something like this. I think it's so cute. And let me finish it off with this. So this is not an iron, it's a pushpin. So you really wanna know where you put it in. So you really don't wanna mess it up. And there we have it. And I'm going to flip it over and add them on like this. So I ended up using some glue gun because it was really hard to iron it down this small pouch. So the front looks something like this and the back. I think it's super cute and super original. I mean, there's no one else in this world that has the same pouch as me. Love it. Okay, lastly, let's see how this turned out. The reveal. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? I mean, you can use this for anything. It's like a great decoration. You could put it up on the wall. You could put it on the kitchen counter or you can turn it into a clock. All you have to do is open a hole right in the center, like right on top of his nose. Let's try making a hole. I've never used this before, so hopefully I don't mess it up. 
Okay, I'm going to quickly do this off camera because I'm kind of scared. And it looks something like this. I was really nervous, but it wasn't really that bad. Now all I have to do is to attach this onto the back. I hope this works. And this on top. And there we have a clock! Let's see if this works. <gasps> it's working! Wow, I'm actually really happy with the result. And of course I could change the time as well. I also got these numbers, but I'm not sure if I should use them. It already has adhesive on, so just need to like place it on. Oh, I think I kind of like it. I actually love it. This is how it turned out. I mean, I love the pouch. I love the clock. I mean, I could have done better for this, but still a cute decoration. I think I was able to make a few more things using all the supplies, but I think I'm good for now. It was a little bit tricky, but I think it turned out to be okay. Maybe I could do more of these challenges, but at a different amusement park, like, you know, Universal Studios, maybe Sanrio Kuro Land. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment below. And I'm actually going to use all these, so I'm extra happy. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!